Well, do you want to grow lots of tomatoes but don't know what to grow or how to grow it? Well, last year I grew a tomato jungle right here in my backyard garden in raised beds and I had hundreds of pounds of tomato harvest to enjoy. The secret to growing tomatoes successfully is variety selection and that's what I'm going to talk all about today, my favorite tomato varieties. But before we get started, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss another great gardening video from Kellogg Garden again. So let's go. My name is Resh Gala, founder of 100 Tomatoes, no surprises there, right? And a kitchen gardener from New Jersey Growing Zone 6B. I'm going to start with some of my favorite tomatoes and I'm going to break down this video into the classic heirloom tomatoes or the indeterminate tomatoes that I recommend followed by the determinate tomato varieties and lastly the cherry tomato varieties. Now before I talk about my favorite tomato varieties I want to talk about the two different main varieties of tomatoes which are indeterminate tomatoes and determinate tomatoes and lots of people ask me the question about that and are quite confused about which variety should they go for and it's quite simple really. Indeterminate tomatoes are the ones that produce from your last frost date which could be in late April or early May if you're in the Northeast all the way up until your first frost date which could be October, November. So they produce little fruit at a time until they die off when the hard frost hits the tomatoes and they don't produce after that. So that is your indeterminate tomato varieties. Now most tomato varieties are generally indeterminate and so they grow really tall and long and could reach even seven, eight feet tall perhaps. A lot of your cherry tomatoes too are the indeterminate tomato varieties. Now determinate tomato varieties are the ones that produce a determined amount of fruit in a given period of time and usually it would say on the plant DET if you go to your uh, big box store or your nursery and try to pick up your seedlings for your tomatoes it will say DET which stands for determinate. Now those are more bushy varieties of tomatoes and don't grow as tall as the indeterminate ones and they're technically supposed to survive just for a short period of time, maybe a couple of months, where they produce large amounts and large masses of tomatoes all at once. So you get an incredibly large harvest that you can, you know, maybe freeze, you can turn it into soups, stews, or um, anything else that you want to store for a long period of time or share with your friends. So that is your determinate tomato variety. DET is what you're looking for when you're buying seedlings. Now my most favorite one is this one right here, which is Aunt Ruby's German green tomato and this is like my quintessential tomato that I will always grow in my garden every year. It ripens to a beautiful green color and it stays green and it tastes amazing. It has the most classic, classic tomato flavor of all the tomatoes that I've ever tasted and trust me, I've tried a lot of them. Now the big thing about this is that it grows pretty large and meaty and it's very juicy and delicious. I love to eat this tomato in just a regular tomato sandwich which is two slices of white bread smothered with some butter and a thick slice of this green tomato in between. Now the only disadvantage I can think of with growing this variety is that it ripens to a green color and does not go red. So sometimes it might be a challenge to figure out whether it's ready to pick or not. But I think that if you just touch it and give it a squeeze, as long as it's not too soft, that means it's overripe, go for it and enjoy it. Now the second variety that I want to talk about is Dr. Vichy's tomato. Now you might have heard a lot of people rave about this. Now this doesn't have a very strong acidic flavor. In fact, it's one of the milder tomatoes that I have tried. However, the color is stunning. And you can't find this one or the green variety very easily in your grocery store or farmer's market. The plus point about this is that again, like um, the Aunt Ruby's, it is a large meaty heirloom tomato variety. And the negative is that it doesn't produce as many tomatoes as one would hope for. But the flavor is amazing and it's similar to a Kellogg's breakfast variety. So if you can't get your hands on these seeds, Dr. Vichy's, then go for a Kellogg's breakfast, the orange color. The next tomato variety I'm going to talk about is Pantano Romanesco. Now this one is a classic red tomato. The classic one that you can use in cutting, in soups, stews, 
eating fresh and sandwiches, what have you. Now, I always grow this one and actually when it does ripen and you pick them, it pretty much looks similar to this one in the picture. It has a few cracks on top but doesn't crack easily anywhere else. And it's your classic red tomato that you can grow. It's an heirloom variety, so I highly recommend this one, Pantano Romanesco. Now the next one I'm going to talk about is the Cherokee purple tomato. Now this one has a cult following I think and there are lots of people who swear by this tomato and pretty much grow it every year in their garden even though it is prone to diseases and pests quite easily people swear by the flavor and grow it every year. Now this one ripens to a beautiful pink purple color and it's just incredible to see and it's a very sweet smoky flavor as well. It was, I think this uh, is an heirloom variety that was originated probably in the 1800s, in the late 1890s perhaps, and um, it's come down over the years and I highly recommend this one. Now, after talking about my favorite heirloom varieties, which are the big beef steaks and the meaty varieties, I want to also talk about my favorite indeterminate varieties of cherry tomatoes, starting of course with the sun gold cherry tomato. Now this I'm sure Everybody's heard of it. It's one of the most popular cherry tomatoes, I think, among uh, tomato growers out there. I always grow sun gold in my garden. And in fact, last year, I think it pretty much grew maybe over eight feet tall and had even jumped off the fence and had gone over. So I highly suggest with tomatoes, have a strong trellis or a cage to support them so that they don't bend over and fall. And sun gold cherry tomato is my absolute favorite. It is sweet. It is not too tart. It's uh, perfect in salads or actually, to be honest, you can just have it fresh, just pop it in your mouth and um, it's an explosion of flavor. I love it. And it's a beautiful gold, orangey, yellow color. Um, just can't beat that. It looks amazing in salads or um, in just, you know, anything else that you want to have. So Sun Gold is my number one favorite cherry tomato variety. So if you can grow just one tomato, make sure it's a Sun Gold. Um, apart from the Sun Gold, I usually grow the Super Sweet 100 cherry tomato variety as well. And this is your classic red tomato, um, cherry, red cherry tomato variety. Perfect in salads and even eaten fresh as well. And one of the things is though, you have to keep in mind that a lot of these cherry tomatoes, they, their skin is very thin. So they do tend to crack and split very easily if there's a heavy rainfall. So make sure um, you harvest your cherry tomatoes before it's about to rain heavily so they don't split and crack. And you don't want the skin um, you know, bursting and all the juices coming out. So uh, another cherry tomato, like I mentioned, the Super Sweet 100, your classic red, can't go wrong with it extremely sweet in flavor unlike some of the other ones which could be you know a little bit tougher skin this one is thin skin but it tastes incredible completely worth it so sun gold and super sweet cherry tomatoes i always grow them every year now the last cherry tomato variety is this one right here which is the black cherry tomato and if you like uh, an explosion of colors in uh, on your table or in your uh, food plate then i strongly suggest you grow an orange variety which is a sun gold a red variety which is a super sweet 100 and this black variety which is a black cherry now this one actually um, it turns a beautiful dark red um, like a brick red color and it tastes different from the other tomatoes in the sense that it's got a smoky uh, barbecue like flavor so this is delicious and very different so highly recommend you try this one as well now, apart from my cherry tomatoes and the beefsteak heirloom tomato varieties, some of the other varieties that I always, always grow are determinate tomatoes. And determinate tomato varieties are amazing because they're bushy and they can be grown easily in containers as well. And that's what I do. I generally grow my determinate tomato varieties in containers. And actually last year, uh, I grew the Galahad tomato, which just was an immense producer. Um, I think it probably outproduced both the Galahad as well as the Celebrity Tomatoes. I think they both outproduced my um, 
indeterminate heirloom tomatoes by like miles and bushels I would say so I was very happy with it it's um, sort of like a classic tomato that you can get in your grocery store except it's super productive you can grow it in containers and uh, it's a bush variety so um, it doesn't need as much of support as say another tomato variety now the thing about determinate tomatoes you have to remember is that you don't prune them and by pruning or pinching I mean that you don't cut off the growth um, joint usually you have the main stem and you have another stem growing and then there's um, a growth point in between the two in the armpit so to speak and with indeterminate tomatoes you tend to you know pinch those off however with determinate tomatoes I just let them be I don't prune them and I don't pinch them at all I just let them go wild um, uh, but you know they're pretty contained because they're determinate variety they don't um, cause me much trouble and I grow them in containers so my favorite absolute favorite one to recommend would be the Galahad um, tomato for determinate and then the second one would be the celebrity tomato which is also a determinate variety so these two I always grow and I will continue to grow every year in containers um, in my garden so just to recap favorite tomatoes to grow of course number one if I had to choose one heirloom tomato it would be my aunt Ruby's green tomato is what I would grow if I had to choose one cherry tomato to grow it would be my sun gold variety and if I had to choose one determinate tomato to grow it would be the Galahad so these are my favorites do please mention down below what are yours I would love to learn and um, love to try some new tomato varieties as well if any of you could recommend so I hope you found this helpful and uh, do comment down below with any tomato questions that you might have or um, any other tips that you want to learn and I'll be sure to do another follow-up video for you again and before I end just a, a reminder would love for you to please subscribe to the Kellogg Garden channel and not miss another great video from us again thank you bye and have a great day